And we're back with more cops. Listen, pretty boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. I'm following the guard. Oh, I got like a little. Oh man, I have that kind of hair. That little, that little fade on like the top. I can smell you, new fish. Welcome home. Get in. Lights out and be quiet, assholes. If you know what's good for you. Come on, then. Yes, I'm using the bed in the cell. Let's, let's go for, let's go, oh, god damn it, I said I was, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, because I, I like this game. This was going to be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. There we go, 30 minutes, three days later. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. All right, then. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Go bother somebody else. Fuck. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Eh, never heard of him. God damn it. Is that him? Because he's wearing a goddamn suit. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Buzz off, asshole. Come oh, on, man. Uh, they don't seem too friendly. One thousand. No shame in throwing in a towel. What? I'm looking for Leo Galante. Yeah, yeah. Old guy. Plays chess all day. Oh, thanks. To us. Someone. Set us up. What is this? I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was in with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> Are you going to fight me? And he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? Guys, that is great, you dig this fucking brain. Oh. Get wrecked. Come on. Yeah. Let's do this. Go ahead. Oh. 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 Fucking get wrecked. This get is gonna be oh, for for oh. Oh. Kick his teeth in. Oh. You eat faggots for breakfast? Whoa. Fuck's sake. Kill him, O'Neal. Kick his ass, O'Neal. Stop it. Step back. Okay, Did you hear me? Break it out. out of here. Use Move it. Hole. Damn it. We're going to give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. God fucking damn it. Oh wait, my phone charge. There you go. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Oh shit, did I fuck up? How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. 
boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. Oh, I'm gonna learn how to fight? I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. All right, I'm gonna fight your... Okay. Today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. That a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Footwork, Peppy. Remember your ah, footwork. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? And most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. All right, then. Nice, kid, nice. All right. Two more of those. All right, one more. All right. Shit, that had to hurt. Oh, shit. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. You kicked Pepe's ass. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? <clears throat> well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah. Like, five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And you can handle, well, you know, the life. The life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are going to have a lot of explaining to do. Do? Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. How's old man Galante know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter back in the day. Mm. Damn good one, too. No shit. Yeah, that's yeah. It. heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went pro. I'm just glad he organizes these fights. Not that there's anything else to do with him, you know? And he must be making a small fortune on all the bets he takes. <laughs> Matter of fact, I heard that's what he's in here for. He's one of the biggest bookies in Empire Bay. Well then. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Sam, how you doing? Hey, you wanna spar? Not really. Sorry. Keep it up. Not now, okay? Wait, if I get arrested, can I just come back to jail and I can get spar with people? One. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? How's it going? I'm Vito. Chris, how can I help hey. you? Hey! I'm looking to go a few rounds. You interested? Buddy, I'm busy. Try out. Over there. Hey, fuck off, buddy. If you didn't get the hint. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, yeah, Vito? That's it. 
Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Yeah, thanks. Uh, hey, speaking of which, you want to do some sparring? Eh, not off. for nothing, but I got better shit to do than get my head busted. Ask Al. He needs his ass kicked. Yeah, all right, thanks. So, on, uh... Give me another 20. What brought you here, Sal? I felt like lifting weights, and this is where the weights are. No, no, I mean, uh... Yeah, how'd you land it. in the big house? I killed a guy for asking too many questions. All right, then. See you later. <laughs> I like you, Sal. Keep it up. Winston's offering two to one against Pepe. Pepe wasn't a friend of mine. I take that bet. O'Neill's a fucking animal. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Hey, uh, you feel like sparring? Yeah, hey, sure. Why not? Keep it up. Except. All right, let's go. Okay, but go easy on me, okay? I ain't a pro like you or Pepe. Come on, give me another twenty. Okay then. All right, let's do this. Yeah, All right. That's it. Let's fucking counter hit. Keep it up. Get knocked up. You want to keep going? Sure. All right, let's go. Come on, give me another twenty. Let's fucking, let's, let's, I'm fucking gonna take your All ass. All right, off. let's do this. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Get your ass knocked out. Come on, oh. give me another twenty. You want to keep going? Hey, you know what? That's it for now. All right, your choice. Yeah, you you got it. your ass kicked. Hold on. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me Ooh. coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. Oh, jeez. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. All right, then. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> ha! You big, but you no tough. All right, let's fucking do this. Let's fucking fight club in the. Cr come on, come on. All right, fucking. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Was that a fight? Was that a fight? Tiger style. Tiger style. <laughs> that wasn't even a fight. <laughs> uh, get wrecked, Mr. W oh, there's a rat in my room. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Oh, God damn it. Seventeen minutes, all right. Hey, listen, Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right, come with me, Vito. Ah, oh, sweet. Mobster friends in the what, jail. Train some more. Uh, sorta. You'll see. Into the storeroom. Can't wait for it to break out. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Want no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the Spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. There's a rat in here. Now, the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard. 
but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, Ooh, kid. Looky here. I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Get wrecked. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hot as neck. Come on, get wrecked. <laughs> Lay it down on a job like always. Man, get... who taught his brother how to fight? Hey, now you grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock him in the next week. Jesus. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. Is his ass knocked out? What the out? hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you no. mean? What about her? No. She's sick, Vito. No. She's been like this for weeks, and she's not getting any better. I need money. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito... No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. Don't. I will. And thanks, Vito. I swear to God, if they let my mom I... die. <laughs> oh God, I'm getting, I'm, I'm shaking and tearing up. One week later, more weeks. Let's go, Scaletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. Turlets. Nice pronunciation there, guard. Toilet arts. Now, that is a very weird pronunciation of the word toilets that you have given me. And I'm not sure if you know how to speak English. Toilet arts. Toilets. Toilets. That's what that's what it sounds. He sounds it sounds like he said toilets. So you're the new cleaning lady, huh? Follow me. Okay, I'm glad. I am so glad they have underwear. Relax, fellas. I'm just giving the old pipes a workout. Any more of that shit, and I'm gonna give your face a workout. You did? All right, all right. Jeez, you guys got no culture. Hold on. Ugh. Uh. There you go. Make them sparkle. And hurry it up. Oh. Well, I, I am a cleaning master. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Really?
If you make me clean that again, I'm gonna kill you. I remember your face. I even have recorded pictures of your face. If you're ever on the beat. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. God damn it. If you have two pisses in store, I'm gonna kill you. I'm, I, I see your face. I know your face. All right, that's enough. Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. All right, get Skeletta, me. get your clothes off and get cleaned up. Would you kindly? Well then. Oh, it's not too bad. Is this how prison works? Is this how it goes? I'm not even sure. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Well, I'm, I can beat your ass fine. <laughs> it's oh. <sighs> Do that again, sweet cheeks. It's oh. Fuck, this guy's a fighter, huh? Wanna fucking go? Hurry up, John. We ain't got long. <clears throat> this could have been so much easier. Oh. Get your ass on the ground. Come on, take him down. And fucking get down. That's how you do it in the showers. Come on. Yeah, get wrecked. Get wrecked. I got freaking moves for days. Hey! Hey! Whoa, whoa! What the hell's going on? And where's Frank? Of course I get beaten down. Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. Mama died while she no! was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. No! No! The nicest woman I've ever met! Mr. Galante met. wants to talk to you. Come with me. She was the nicest old woman I've ever met in a video game. Good to have you back, kid. <laughs> what the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. The guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. I don't Break a want... leg, kid. Literally. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. 
Just the man I wanted to see. Come here, Mary! Come on. Again, hard oh, I did. I shot Mary. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Don't talk about moms when I'm. all you've got? No guards to save you this time. Don't talk I about... don't think so. Don't talk about moms. Try again, little man. Don't fucking this talk about. Ball. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Ah, oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl! Oh, for fuck's sake. I had the freaking counter. I'm not gonna be yeah. Oh shit, he's got a shiv. Jesus. It all worked out just fine. They never found out who did it. Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell. Well, actually, it was more like a sweep. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente, I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me. Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry. You'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three? There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules, and if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. The other... Is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. Consigliere? Hey, being just a regular old man get you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about Adjusting your sentence. Peppy, come here. Have a taste. Oh, sweet. I got a new cell. I'm freaking got... Oh, hey. I'm long man... No! Oh, wait. No, that's Francesco. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Oh, it's... I'm, st I'm going to steal that car as soon as fucking possible. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Copy that. Right there. Stop. Oh. Pleasure, right? Well, pleasure, right? Stop. <laughs> Just get out of jail and steal a car. <laughs> oh. 
America, eh? This is a good looking car. And keep it. It's gonna be my white car. Oh, they don't even know who I am. How wonderful. Where's the nearest, uh, there it is, Giuseppe. Ooh, nearly crashed this thing. changed. Cop cars are nice now. I like them. Hey, welcome. All right, I'm carrying this white. This is going to be my white car. How can I help you? Oh shit. Or must be repaired. God damn it. Okay. I don't even have cash. Oh shit. See you later. Um. Whatever. I'm gonna park this and then we'll stop for now. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. Fuck you! Fuck. I just need to get to a sick. The fuck are you? Get out of my face! Wow. You're nice. You're in my personal space. You know me. Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, jeez, good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. God damn it, yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. All right, we're wonderful. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. Like an old lady. Yeah. 
I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Oh, sweet. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when you visited me. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to pull on us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. Don't bother asking. Uh, I ain't gonna tell you. Oh boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. So all these new cars are just like mm, making me. Mm. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Fuck. Copy that. This is close enough. Park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks. If you kill somebody, you keep driving that way. Hey, and about I'm tonight, find you. we're going to a real classy joint. So buy yourself a nice suit. They won't let you in this place look like an ex-con. My kind of place. All right, I don't want to see your face again. God damn it. Just got 200 bucks. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. Okay. Y you having trouble there? Okay. And here is the master bedroom, and there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two, maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. Well then... I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you. Just wanna save, I just wanna save. I just wanna save. I don't wanna get dressed into a suit, I just wanna save. I just want to save, baby. This is my, this is my coat. Where the fuck? God damn it. I'll just do this mission and we'll save. God damn it. I just want to go because I have school tomorrow. Why did you have to give me the top floor? I don't like being on the top floor. want to get out of here. It's 
to make it to the next chapter and then we'll freaking leave. So I just want to freaking save and I'm not sure when I can save. Oh. Fuck. He's a maniac! We gotta take him down! Copy that! Fuck's sake! How do you see me from here? I'm gonna lose them in a circle. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Can run. Ditch the car. <laughs> they don't know anything. Oh god. Joe Barbaro. Jeez, I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick us up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. Hey, show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Wow. Yeah, this is my pal Vito. Vito. This here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scop. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh, funny business in the can. Hey. What are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Head to Oyster Bay. Hey, watch out! Okay, so Vito. What was the one thing you missed the most when you was in a game? Freedom. Yeah, well, but besides that. Nah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> Money. Are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, house huh? Wow. I well, might have the sense of... excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs> if we're gonna have a ball. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something I gotta take care of later. What's more important than pussy and booze? Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? Well, there's a cop right ahead of us. So I'm not step. Oh, well, we're already here. Garden 
wie ein Man, so I talked to Leo Gorman about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. It's that girl again. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reasons. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, uh, you know, I don't, I don't want to look <laughs> like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no. Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. Mm -hmm. You do. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Scram, baby. So, wow. Vito, listen. I work for Carlo wow. Falcone, and, uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and, uh, since you're a friend of his... We'd like to extend that offer to you as well. Oh, God, that's a creepy face. What do you face. say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys. All right. And to a bright future together. Touching I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Yeah, I went, went now. Carlo's a real smart guy. <laughs> He's into, uh, oh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy? Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. Shut your goddamn pie hole. If you want to oh. use your mouth, you fellas ready to go? Vito! Uh, 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 yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! All I want to read is a line. Hey, I'm going home. Good night, you whores! <laughs> Wow. Um. Uh, hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah. Next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less booze. <laughs> wow. Okay, can you just get in the car, you goddamn drunks? We're fucking driving. So, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just uh, each in the showers, huh? <laughs> <sighs> What the hell's that stink? Eddie, you puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the... What the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, oh, nah, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I spat it. We'll figure something out. What's to figure? All we gotta <laughs> do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. Okay, then, let's... Fucking do it. You got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right, where's this hole? 
Look at that. A little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. All right. Hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. This fucking asshole is cutting me off. Now, I'm gonna hurl. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus, where's this shit coming from? Oh, shit. Whoa, I don't remember eating calamari. Well, hurry up and get him to come. <laughs> Can't hold your booze, can you? Jesus. Make me park in the goddamn middle of the road to freaking make you puke. Come on, let's do this. Ooh, that's cool. The when I drive on the gravel, it ma actually makes gravel noises. Just driving through the park now. I ain't paying no goddamn fine. All right, we're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? That's great. That's just great. Yeah. <clears throat> God damn it, no shoes. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> ah, oh, fucking Christ almighty. How long this guy been in here, Ready? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. That's oh, just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Hey, mother. Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I, I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy, it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here. Fine, whatever. Hey fellas, how about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This wasn't supposed to be part of your homecoming party, but it's nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Oh, cleanly buried.
take the drunks back to Joe's. Let's get there. You guys kidding me with this? Oh my god, poor Dino. What? What? Oh, I <laughs> Okay, we have them both in the car. I thought we lost them. Okay. Oh shit. You wake? Oh shit. I've been hitting the car a bit, sorry. Let's do safe driving mode here. God damn it. You fuckers. Alright. God. I already wrecked your car enough. This is what you get for making me drive and bury a goddamn body. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Alright, almost home, almost home. Here's Little Italy. Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one, big time. Leave Eddie's <laughs> car here so he can get home in the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. I shut up, you whore. Come on. We'll you had enough, some Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Oh, get to Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Well then. All right, saving. Awesome. Chapter eight: The Wild Ones. And we're not gonna. Watch this chapter. Uh, We're just gonna watch this cutscene and then end. Hey, Vito, rise and shine. Jesus, <laughs> Marty, stop fucking yelling, will you? My head's killing me. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Joey. And stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down. Jesus Christ. All right. All right, that's it for now. See you later.